I stand with Mike Fires. He did the right thing to preserve the integrity of this great game. Now, of course, the outrage mob in the beginning was calling him a snitch and everything else under the sun. But you know what? He opened up a can of worms that may result in one of the darkest scandals of all time. Now, the aftermath will make the game stronger. Now, this possibly may be harsher than the Black Sox or Pete Rose type punishment. It runs deep, very deep. Now, Fire's reasoning is noble, as careers have been ruined by this cheating. And pitchers who made their big league debuts against the Astros in Houston or pitched there very early on got knocked out of the game early and were sent back down to never return. Now, first impressions are everything, especially in pitching. Club personnel may look at these poor outings and figure the pitcher, hey, maybe he just can't cut at the big league level. And his stock, which he has worked for his entire life, has just plummeted under false conditions. Now, service time is a serious deal when getting established in the big leagues. Salary increases every year. The arbitration years are a huge boost in pay. To make it the free agency is financially life-changing for one's entire family. So there's a lot at stake here, and the Astros' unethical practices have crushed many dreams. Now also, hats off to John Boy and all the other YouTube sleuths for doing the research and displaying this damning evidence to the public. That's a sincere dedication to preserving baseball. Now let's look at it from a broader standpoint, the postseasons. Now in 2017, the Astros beat the Red Sox, Yankees, and Dodgers to win the title. The Indians in the 2018 ALDS and the Rays and again the Yankees here in 2019. Now, all these teams were very capable of winning it all, and how they were beat by the Astros now comes under scrutiny. Now, let's not forget Fires Athletics, the Swinging A's, who won 97 games in each of the last two seasons, only to lose out to the Astros in both campaigns for the AL West division title, having to settle for the do-or-die wildcard spot. Now, naturally, all of these clubs dedicate their entire year to getting to October, that requires an immense amount of time, money, and resources invested to have it all stolen away inconspicuously. Now, not to mention how many people are involved in the daily grind to earn a spot in the postseason. It goes well beyond the players in uniform. It's a mass betrayal. Now, to the extent of how severe any of their cheating allegations were over the last three seasons, that's to be seen. However, the truth will come out. You can't cheat and then lie and cover it up nowadays. Reality moves way too fast once it's revealed. Now, 20 years ago, team could have gotten away with a cheating scandal like this of some sort. It's ironic how technology can giveth and taketh away. Now, my appreciation for Fires coming forward is because he did it for the entire game. He did it for the little guy. He doesn't need the push. He has two, two career no-hitters notched to his belt. If he were to win a Cy Young, he would eventually get some serious Hall of Fame consideration, as there's a lot of pitchers in Cooperstown who don't have a no-hitter, let alone two. Now many may ask, and many already have done so, why didn't Fires come out right away with its information? Let's be honest, we all know that's not an easy thing to do. We don't yet know the extent of security measures taken by the Astros to protect their acts of espionage, especially on a legal basis. We also don't know when exactly he came forward in revealing this information to the Atlantic. Bombshell stories like this take time to get the proper research and investigations done in order to present factual information and avoiding libel. It's a process. Now, is this a black eye for the game? Absolutely. However, for the owners, executives, managers, players, and the entire fan bases for the other 29 teams, it's a huge breath of fresh air and knowing that integrity will soon be restored and the game can again be played in an ethical manner. Justice shall prevail. Now hats off to you, Mike Fires. You did a great service to our game. And from top to bottom, a lot of people owe you a lifelong debt of gratitude. And may the baseball gods reward your nobility. Looking forward to seeing a third no-hitter from you in the near future. Maybe even in Minute Maid Park.
Keep dominating, my friend. Hey, thanks for watching. Now be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss a future upload or video premiere. Also, like, comment, and max out that share button. Now, I value honesty in the game of baseball. Even if it's a harsh, harsh reality which no one wants to hear. It's what's best moving forward. Because I see the culture of the game changing as a result of this scandal. Very simply, don't lie. Don't lie about stats, about status, or recognition. It's way too easy to disprove nowadays. The entire baseball world is about to find out.